Hi guys, I'm KM and welcome back to my channel. I finally have a face-to-face -face camera set up so I can actually show you my face rather than just doing these videos as a voiceover. Back in April, I went on a really, really lovely trip to Rome and I took a travel journal with me. I'm going to be showing you how I set up the packing lists and travel maps and all the other little bits that I did to help plan the trip. So without further ado, let's get to the time-lapse tutorial. So this is a brand new Scribbles That Matter journal and I'm going to be setting it up from scratch. The first page is going to be an emergency contact and health details spread. I'm putting this right at the start of the journal so that it's easy for someone to find, should I ever, fingers crossed this doesn't happen, get into any trouble when I'm travelling. I've broken up the white page by sticking down some pattern paper and creating an aged background with coffee and watercolour. At the top of the page I'm drawing out the universal medical alert symbol so that the page can be recognised no matter where I have travelled. I'm then drawing out a series of boxes to write my emergency contact and medical information in different languages. My plan is to fill out the box in the language of the country I'm going to be travelling to, to make it easier for my information to be understood, but also as a little tracker of the range of countries and their languages that I have travelled to. For the next few spreads I'm going to be creating maps to track all of the places I have been to. The first spread is a full world map. I chose to print this rather than draw it by hand as Honestly, I would have never managed to draw it accurately. I've then warmed the colour of the page with some more watercolour. After that, I am painting in each of the countries I have travelled to in shades of green, blue and yellow. My goal is to one day see most of this map filled in. To add some detail to the page, I'm using these three-dimensional photo stickers and putting them in a little cluster in each corner of the page. As a lot of these countries on the full world map are too small for me to paint in, I'm creating a page with a close-up map of Europe and a close-up of the UK. These are the areas that I usually travel in as I'm English, but you might want to choose the areas of the world closer to where you are. I've then added a watercolour background and I'm going through and painting in each of the European countries and UK counties that I've been to. I've then added some more travel stickers to the top of the page to finish it off. The next spread is a staple for any travel journal and it's the travel bucket list. This is a list of all the places and things you want to do when you travel. I wrote out a heading and added some pattern paper along the bottom of the page to create a footer. I'm then drawing out a row of silhouettes for various landmarks around the world to add some detail to the page. After that, I've then added two columns of boxes that I can tick off when I fulfill the goal that I will write next to it in a list form. I'm then going back in and finishing off my landmark footer. On this page, I'm setting up the title page for all of my Rome travel planning spreads. I did lose some footage here, but all I did was stick down some matte pattern paper and draw out a silhouette of the Colosseum. I'm now using a thick black marker to draw out a silhouette of the Pantheon and adding highlights to that with a whiteout pen. On the opposite page, I'm then going ahead and drawing out a silhouette of St Peter's Basilica and adding detail again with a whiteout pen. I've drawn out Rome for my title and thickened the vertical sections of the letters to create a handmade calligraphy sort of look. Underneath that, I'm writing out the dates of the trip in a silver pen and creating a drop shadow on the left hand side of the letters to add some three dimensionality. Using the same technique, underneath I've written out a quote that reads, Rome is the city of echoes, city of illusions and the city of yearning. This next page might seem pretty obvious, but it's essential to any travel journal and that's the packing list. I've stuck down some pattern paper and drawn out the title in an open calligraphy style font. I've then drawn two columns of boxes so that I can tick off items when I've packed them. The first one I'll tick off when I've packed it to go on the trip, and I'll tick the second one off when I've packed my suitcase up to come back. I've then created some little headings for each category of items. In the corner I've stuck down some pattern paper, and I'm drawing a quick illustration of some vintage suitcases to add some detail to the page. Last but not least, I'm giving the page an aged look with some brown shades, and then I'm adding some highlights to the suitcases and the title with a whiteout pen. This double page spread is going to be for budgeting the trip and keeping track of what I'm spending when I'm out there. On the left page I'm drawing out four boxes. These will be to write my budget out for the four key areas of travelling. Travel or transport costs, accommodation, food and activities. On the opposite page I'm creating a spread to keep track of what I'm spending day to day to make sure that I keep to that budget. The first column is for the date, the second is for the item or activity bought or returned, the third is for how much money came in, the next is for how much went out, and the final column is for the total amount that I have left. Lastly, I'm adding some watercolour to the boxes to finish the page. The next page on the left is for important information such as flight and accommodation details. I've added some pattern paper to break up the whiteness. I've then drawn up two long boxes and given them headings, the top for flight details and the bottom one for accommodation details. I've then added two smaller boxes for insurance details and airport transfers. The page on the right is the last one I'll be showing you, which is much more fun. 
This is for all the things I want to see or do, and I'm going to show each of those with a little line drawing. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of me. I post regular creative inspiration for your journal and sketchbook. Until then guys, keep creative.